Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing one of my personal favorite topics in art history, Ahiro Pizza. Keep watching to learn more about this unique subject. Ahiro Pizza is a medieval Greek word that means made without hands. It is used to refer to an icon or relic that is believed to have been crafted by a divine figure. Less commonly, it can be used to refer to a copy of an icon. During the various iconoclastic crises throughout history, Ahiropita were used as evidence to continue the use of icons. If divine figures were creating them, then their use should be allowed and encouraged. Now that we've learned what an Ahiropita is, we are going to examine three of the most famous examples. The image of Edessa is often considered to be the first icon. It is also referred to as the Holy Mandelian. According to the story, King Abgar of Edessa was very ill. Desperate for a cure, he wrote a letter to Jesus asking him to come and heal him. Jesus wasn't able to come, but he sent one of his disciples, Thaddeus, instead. The disciple brought a letter and an image of Jesus. Because they were from the Lord himself, they possessed the power to heal the king. The first written record of the image of Edessa comes in 593. It discusses how the icon was used to protect the city from a Persian invasion in 544. During the siege of Constantinople, the image of Edessa was lost. It was supposedly recovered by the Saint King Louis IX of France and installed as a relic in his church of Saint-Chapelle. Unfortunately, the Holy Mandelian was lost forever during the sacks of the French Revolution. The Lateran Palace was once the main residence of the Pope in Rome. Within the Pope's private chapel was an image of Christ that was supposedly painted by St. Luke the Evangelist and finished by angels. Eventually, this icon was moved to the Sancta Sanctorum, or Holy of Holies, at the Vatican, where it remains to this day. Throughout Rome's history, this Ario Pizza was adored in procession to help protect the city. It is often associated with another famous icon, this one of Mary, found at Santa Maria Maggiore. Once a year, they meet to help ensure Rome's continued protection. Due to its sacred nature, this image is heavily adorned. Over the centuries, several popes have added their ideas until the icon became almost completely encased. Today, only a small portion of Christ's face can be seen. Around it are elaborate silver and gold decorations, almost creating an outfit for Christ to wear. There are also two side panels of this reliquary. Each panel is divided into four sections, and each section has a golden portrait of a different holy figure. The third example is perhaps the most famous Argeopita in the world, the Shroud of Turin. This long piece of fabric is believed by many Christians to be the burial cloth of Jesus Christ. Since 1578, the Shroud has been housed in Turin, but records speak of its existence starting in the 1300s. However, in 1898, an entirely new view of this piece was revealed. Thanks to the invention of the camera, a photographic negative of the Shroud was captured by Secondo Pia. It caused waves because the face on it was so clear. Today, the Shroud of Turin is a highly controversial object. Despite numerous tests, including a dedicated group study in the 1970s, scientists have been unable to determine its true age or how it was created. Carbon dating shows that the fabric is from the 16th century, but even that is inconclusive. The Shroud was damaged in a fire in 1578, and nuns repaired the holes, so a repair section could have been the one that was tested. Regardless of its authenticity, the Shroud of Turin is an important relic to millions of people around the world. Adio Pita occupy a special place in art history. Their origins tend to be shrouded in mystery, yet their importance for many people remains unmatched. These are only three examples of these icons, but there are many more around the world, and we encourage you to explore them.